staying with African football now, and I'm joined by Marshall Gore, chairman of the African Nations Cup UK, and the sports agent, Daniel Latire. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Now, I have to start off with this, because I think it's something, something that people haven't really touched on yet. All this money that is being kicked around and has been taken by the FIFA officials wrongly that they're accused of, $151 million and counting, as things stand, that isn't getting where it was intended, to the grassroots level of football, to help various nations and communities. What does that mean for them? Um, I think uh, uh, this is very bad for the sport of uh, football, uh, which is beautiful for the whole uh, world. But uh, we think that uh, uh, it's the beginning of cleaning the sport because people at the grassroots level need to have that money reaching them. And if it does not reach at the bottom of the grassroots level, it means that the sport at the top will never be uh, also successful. We always have such uh, wrangles of bribery and uh, not having successful uh, uh, people coming through if we don't look at the, where the young people are coming from. I mean, this is the rich and the corrupt getting richer, but they're depriving potential stars of the future from all over the world, aren't they? Yes, that's a big concern. Um, I think this is um, uh, criminality at, at its highest level. And you now start to ask questions that um, are all the member nations um, getting a fair share of uh, what they deserve from this huge cake of, uh, of football money. So obviously, uh, questions will be asked now. and. Um, there's a lot of paging taking place now and certainly would want to know um, a lot of answers of what is happening. Africa is a big center of uh, perhaps maybe some of these stories because um, they, they have a lot of voting power on the FIFA Council because they've got a lot of number of uh, football associations. So, um, yeah, it's a concerning issue. Um, the football development obviously relies largely on the FIFA grants, money that comes from FIFA. You start to ask questions now to say how much of that have filtered right into grassroots football development. I don't think there's, um, there's a lot of money that has been embezzled from what we hear now. So we really need the checks and balances to know where did the money go and what is going to happen now going forward. So do you think that African football in particular then has been really stung by what's happened? Without a doubt. Without a doubt, without a doubt, because if you look at this whole, I'll call it actually a cabal, that most of some of these companies that benefited from these huge uh, marketing deals and everything are perhaps maybe predominantly most of them kind of like uh, Western companies as well. So if you look from an African perspective in terms of um, participating or getting gratuities from, from FIFA, I would certainly say that um, there's a lot of uh, diligence that is needed for checks and balances to be done in terms of what, what, what have we lost and who will be res responsible. I'll certainly be calling for reparations for some of that money to be extracted, extracted back and put where it belongs to. And I'm sure it's sitting somewhere there in the banks. Absolutely. Well, let's hope you have a really loud voice. Very quickly, one word answer, really. Do you think and do you want set Blatter to survive this? I don't think that uh, he should survive because if you are having uh, your executives being indicted for such a criminality uh, issue, uh, why do they uh, leave really you into the position? All we've got time for, but thank you yeah. guys, really do appreciate it. Thanks.